Our media day coverage continuing here on BTN. We're into our fourth hour of about five here on BTN. We're going to speak with three of the Spartans coming up here next. Then we go to Ohio State, Michigan. A lot of expectations around Penn State this year as well. So plenty to look forward to here coming up. But as promised, we spoke with their Hall of Fame head coach. And now we speak with three of the Michigan State Spartans. Aaron Harris, Tum Tum Nairn, and Miles Bridges are with us. And, and Tum Tum, I'm going to start with you because that seems to be where Tom Izzo is starting his team this year. He is saying Tom is clearly our leader. He was telling a story about Draymond Green saying after he worked out with you before your freshman year, hey, you might have a freshman captain on your hands. That's how impressed he was with your leadership. This team needs leadership because you are young and somewhat inexperienced. Yes, so how, how do you lead? What, what makes you so good here in this role? Oh, well, you know, everybody has certain gifts. Um, and my gift from God is my leadership ability. Um, your gift is who you are naturally, and that's who I am naturally. So for me, it's just learning from the guys that came before me, uh, Draymond, Mateen, Cleves, just Travis Trice, Denzel, just talking to them, seeing how I can lead the group of guys we have. And um, I'm just thankful to be in that position. So, Miles, this is your first year in this program. So Tum Tum, everyone says, is the leader. Tell me how it manifests itself to you. When you look at him, you say, leader, why? Uh, it's just the way he carries the team. It's just a blessing having him as a leader for our team because he's so passionate about what he does, and he's going to make sure everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. Accountability for him is his best thing. Like, he makes sure everybody is accountable, and he, he just wants to win, too, and that's everybody's mentality. Well, that's the mentality of this program, and, of course, it's something you guys have done year in and year out. One of the reasons you won last year, Aaron, you came in and you assumed a role that hadn't really been a role for you mm -hmm. in the past. You were a really good defensive player for this team a year ago. Now, all of a sudden, there's a scoring void, too, and mm -hmm. I know that's more natural for you, but sure. how do you become more of a scorer and still keep that defensive role? Well, uh, the scoring part is going to handle itself. That's something that I already know how to do. Um, but at the same time, you know, the competition just keeps getting greater and greater. Um, but I'll just, you know, Coach Izzo gives me my role, and I, I assume, like you said, I assume my role the best I can do. And last year I really became a great defender in the league. Um, I learned from him, and I learned from Denzel. I learned from Tum Tum, who, who, who was a leader of the team as a freshman. You know what I'm saying? He taught me a lot of things, um, how to watch film, and, and I just picked, on, uh, picked up on it so quick. And it actually just became so fun to me. So I'm loving it right now, and this year I have an offensive and a defensive role, a leadership role, and I'm ready to assume that. How did you make that shift? Because I've got to be honest, when I talked to Tom Izzo before the year last year, he pointed to a chair and he said, I'm not sure how Aaron would fare guarding this chair. Now, I don't know if he was just trying to get under your skin a little bit, knowing that, that it would be repeated or if that was really how he felt, but he didn't see you. I think, you know what, I mean, I think he ch that's challenging you, right? I think right. he did see you as someone who could play that defense, but he didn't see you as right. someone who had the mentality to play it. So how do you shift your mentality? Well, well, Coach is, he knows the potential. He wouldn't have me if he, he wouldn't have me here if he didn't know what I could do. <laughs> he knows my potential, and whether he was just trying to get under my skin or he really believes that, uh, it worked. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to get his players to do what he needs them to do. And I embraced my role, like I said. I knew I needed to get better at defense, and so I listened to every word that he told me, and, and I learned my role. And I think I did very well at it, and I still, I still have a lot more uh, ways to improve. So happy to have another year to play. Miles, as you know, this is a program that lost a lot off of last year. And so now you come in and there's a lot of pressure on you to perform right away. How do you handle that pressure individually when, hey, you're just figuring out where your classes are and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but I don't let it get to me because if I let it get to me, then I'm going to overthink everything. And that's the leader position that they're put in to help me through all of this. So I give all the credit to them because they've been helping me through everything, basketball on and off the court. So, yeah, I don't, I don't feel pressure because I, I, I've been playing a big stage all my life, but this is the way bigger. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just not letting it get to me. Tommy, you had the issue with the foot last year, yes, and it sir. just felt like you never really were the player that, mm -hmm. that you could have been. Give us a sense of where you are physically and, and how that has healed up. Oh, it's, it's been great, man. I had a little surgery, a little procedure done on my foot after the season last year. 
And um, I'm not 100%, I'm 120%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the thought that goes through your guys' minds when you look at this early schedule. We were talking about it with Tom Izzo. What about for you, Aaron, when you see all the places you're going to travel and the caliber of opposition you will play when you arrive there? Oh, man, I mean, everything that we've done in our lives uh, has led us to this point. And uh, I, all I can say is that it's a blessing to be a part of it. I mean, not many people have the opportunity to do it first off, you know what I'm saying? But we're competitors at nature. And, um, you know, we have no choice but to embrace it and, and go forward with it. And we, we plan to come out on top, but we, we're humble people. And all we can do is just stay humble. And I think that uh, what's meant for us in life is going to be it's going to be it's going to be good, you know, so. Uh, as we keep going forward, like I said, we're taking it one day at a time, and it's special for us. I'm happy to be here. Miles, you're playing for a Hall of Famer. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the only college coach you have ever known, of course, but w when you're around him, what do you think makes him great? Like, wh what makes Tom Izzo as good a coach as he is? Uh, it's, it's just as humble as he is. Like, he's he's one of the most humblest coaches, like, in this, throughout this whole country. And he won't change for anybody. And he's just a caring coach. Like, he, he carefully chews for you. And he that, that's who he is. Like, he won't change. And I could call him at 3 a.m. and he'll answer the phone and talk to me about anything. And that's that's what makes him a great coach. You probably should make a habit of that. No, no, I, I wouldn't. But <laughs> <laughs> Miles Bridges, Tum Tum Nair, and Aaron Harris. Thanks, guys. Really good to see you and have a great Thanks, year. Uh, and enjoy the travels, it. too. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of good pictures. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey.